the number seven overall team, Oklahoma State, is hosting Arkansas, Grand Canyon, and Missouri State this weekend in their regional. feel like this is a regional that could go a lot of different ways. Oklahoma State looked like a top five team in the middle of the year, and so did Arkansas. So seeing this in a regional might be surprising, but both of these teams have had their struggles. Oklahoma State has been a little up and down recently, while Arkansas just never really got their offense going throughout the year. They were able to beat teams, but it didn't look pretty for a lot of the time. And facing a Grand Canyon team in their first game, Grand Canyon has won against a lot of good teams, a lot of ranked teams in the midweek games that they've been able to, to play in. But Arkansas, if they can figure things out, which we've been saying the entire year, they just need to figure things out on offense. But they haven't done it yet, and this is the perfect time to kind of get that going but it'll be difficult facing a good Oklahoma State team if they can make it to the winner side of things and a good Grand Canyon team yeah this is an interesting regional here GCU probably would have been in my first four out after all the stolen bids this last week but they do manage to squeak in and like you mentioned have some quality wins on their resume against some power five teams in the midweeks and they received a lot of praise from those coaches after beating them talking about how how high of a caliber squad this Lopes team is. And then, like you mentioned with Arkansas, they just never fully put it together this season. It's hard to know what to expect. Uh, we know they're an Omaha caliber team talent-wise and that if they do reach their ceiling, they can be there. But we just haven't seen them do it yet, so it's hard to know what to expect from them. Yeah, this is an Arkansas team that has so many familiar faces from last year, which was a team that was just phenomenal and for them to be struggling for the entire year and put together a 38 and 18 record which is which is good but you'd expect them to do more with the talent that they've had and similarly to LSU it's a, a SEC team that just hasn't fully figured out how to win these tough games and if they do this could easily go their way but for me right now I feel the most confident in having Oklahoma State win their home regional it is at home. They have a good offense, a decent enough pitching staff to potentially get them going, especially since they face a Missouri State team, which is a mid-level four seed that we see throughout the tournament. So definitely can rest some of their best arms in the first game, hopefully, and then ride from there and have good matchups throughout the rest of the tournament. Yeah, this is a tough one to pick, and I'd also probably go with Oklahoma State just based off the inconsistencies of Arkansas. I would not be surprised to see the, uh, the Hogs end up in Omaha at the end of this thing, but I'm going with Oklahoma State. They've been more consistent throughout the year. They got Justin Campbell leading that pitching staff as the Friday guy, and I think they'll be able to make it through at home. Thank you for watching and listening. If you enjoyed, we would really appreciate a like and subscribe for more weekly college baseball content.